Welcome friend, and today we're gonna to make a delicious lobster bisque. First, we're gonna start by steaming two lobster tails. Then we're going to take those tails and take the meat out. And we're gonna take those lobster shells, we're gonna chop them up. We're gonna make a delicious lobster stock. Then we're gonna convert the lobster stock into a delicious bisque by thickening it with a special ingredient that's not your normal thickener. I'm Chef Lance, a professional chef and baker turned culinary school instructor. Let's cook this thing. Okay, we're going to start out by uh, putting our uh, lobster tails into my makeshift steamer here. You don't have to have special equipment to accomplish this. You just use what you have. So I'm going to put those in, cover them with the lid, and they're going to stand there for two, two and a half minutes. Now, once they finish steaming, I'm going to remove them from the steamer and place them on the cutting board to rest. Not to rest the meat necessarily, but until they're cool enough to handle so that I can then remove the tail meat. Now we're gonna take the meat out of the shell. Be very careful, I should have used a towel to hold this lobster tail. Uh, the shells are very sharp. I'm cutting the underside. I just find that's easier to get to the meat when I'm not using it for display purposes. And I just peel that shell back as much as I can uh, to uh, make sure that that's not an obstruction as we uh, go in and try to get that uh, tail meat out of there. And then now I'm gonna grab a spoon and I'm gonna make sure I uh, separate the upper side of the tail meat from that part of the uh, lobster shell, loosening it up as I go, being you know relatively careful. I don't wanna tear the meat apart. And then I'm gonna continue uh, opening that up to allow me to get the tail meat out. And here it is, loosening up. Now that I've got the uh, lobster tail removed from the shell, I'm gonna take those shells and begin chopping them up. The reason I chop them is to allow for more surface area to con come in contact with my uh, broth as I make my uh, lobster stock. Uh, the pile sitting next to there were some uh, lobster shells that I had in the freezer from another project. I chopped those up. I'm gonna add those to this stock just to give a richer lobster flavor. Now I'm taking the lobster tails and I'm dicing those into about one inch uh, cubes. I'm gonna set those aside for later. We'll finish cooking those uh, by sauteing them and using those as garnish. Now I'm gonna caramelize the lobster shells to get a bright red color on those. I'm going to uh, then add a little mirepoix to this, onions, celery, and carrots. Let it steam a little bit. Uh, a little salt to draw out the moisture to get that out. Uh, there comes the celery, then the carrots. Uh, then we're, uh, we're going to add some of the lobster water we steamed it with to, for flavor, then some garlic, a little tomato paste to add some sweetness and to caramelize, get some nice uh, flavor in there. Then I'm going to add some brandy, cook the alcohol off. Same with the white wine we're going to add. And uh, we're going to let this thing uh, simmer. Now a little chicken stock we're going to add to this. Let it bring it to a boil, let it simmer for about an hour. Now I'm going to strain the stock just to separate the stock from the solids. That way uh, we won't have any of these things in our uh, bisque. All right, so now the uh, stock is added to the blender. I've just added cream to that. Getting that blender set up, we're going to just blend it for several minutes, really smoothing that out. Uh, now the secret ingredient. This is a little container of leftover rice. Uh, rices and potatoes are sometimes used to thicken soups, and we did that here. Now, while that bisque is blending, we're going to go ahead and saute the lobster uh, tails that have been diced into cubes or chunks. Uh, melt a little butter, put in the lobster tails. Uh, we're going to add a little seasoning to that, and we're just going to cook them till, uh, till they lose that translucent state, and then we'll set those aside. All right, our bisque is complete, and now we're gonna do a final straining. You may uh, be asking, why are we doing that? We just blended it for several minutes. Why isn't it smooth? Well, this is just one more step uh, that I like to do just to make sure it is as smooth as possible. So I'm going to fill that strainer up or halfway up with, uh, with the bisque and use my ladle to gently push that through so that it comes uh, comes into the pot uh, nice and smooth. Now it's time to plate this delicious looking bisque up nice and silky and creamy. 
and the smell is not bad either. If you guys had smell of vision oh my goodness, this is uh, smelling good. So now I'm going to uh, get some uh, some of those lobster chunks, and I'm going to put that on top for garnish. I, uh, if I'd have been uh, on top of the game, I would have chopped up some parsley, maybe for a little greenery as garnish as well. But let's taste this thing. Mmm. Ah, that is delicious. Now, you know, I can't go without doing a little uh, dip here into my, um, with the cheddar biscuit. Mm. What an absolutely perfect combination. Lobster bisque and this cheddar biscuit. All right, we're at the end of summer, early fall. One last um, tribute to summer, lobster bisque. Go make this. Go find some lobster, and you can do this. It's so simple. Multiple steps, but none of which are complicated. Just takes one after another after another. And we... Um, we have a delicious meal right here. So thank you for joining me. And remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day. And I'll see you next time on the Chef Lance Show.